for the 2018 Cheers. Super Bowl champions to be discussed <laughs> oh, God. here. Mm-hmm. Um, as, just to reiterate, Raj and I are Eagles fans, um, and I'm feeling pretty good about this season. But Raj, I'll let you start off talking about the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. So I know we made some big moves this off season. Um, we signed. I don't know if anyone. He's a very underground running back. You know, very yeah, underrated. He's, I'm not sure if really, really sneaky. Heard of him. Good. Sneaky. Yeah. Uh, his name's uh, Saquon Barkley. He went to Penn State. I don't know if many have heard of him. Um, yeah, we, we got him. I mean, he came from a division rival, which is strange, but I guess, Hey, welcome to Philadelphia, man. Um, I'm glad your daughter's finally going to be able to see a team win. Uh, that's nice. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, I mean, what we got Bryce Huff in the off season, we extended Smitty, AJ Brown. We got back, um, CJ, CJ Gardner, CJ GJ. Yeah. So weird to say that. Yeah. Yeah, We got him back. (laughs) like an ex coming back to you that, it, that's like the, one of the strangest <laughs> signings in the offseason is Sydney Carter Jones yeah coming back. when I saw that he came back I'm like what did he just diss all of Philly yeah that yeah, was he apologized so we're good yeah which I mean at the end of the day like he wasn't wrong <laughs> like Philly fans yeah, kind of yeah, are insufferable but like that's like the point like I feel like but you yeah. guys know that <laughs> so it's like yeah whatever he's back uh what else um we got uh Kenny Pickett seven now. Yes, KP seven uh, took him from the Steelers for a, a pick or two. Um, he will be our backup QB. Uh, dare like say a maybe a Nick Foles pick or two is like a fifth round pick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we got we got our guy. We got our pit boy, uh, Kenny Pickett, on the Eagles yep. now. Hometown hero. Yep. Uh, who else did we get? Oh, um, well, we ended up killing the draft this year. Yeah, you guys did. We got really uh, a Cooper Dijon. Dijon. His last name now Dijon. Oh, I see. I see. And we okay, got see our, doing. Yep. And Quinion Mitchell, a uh, great first and second. Uh, Michael was in shambles when he saw we took uh, Quinion. Oh, and yeah, then he was so mad. Just getting Cooper, they get Cooper Dijon right after. Everyone was like, well, how does how we do it? And yeah. I think it's simply just teams passed up on them. Yeah. He didn't do anything. I think he traded up in the second, maybe. He did. Um, there's a cl- there's a clip uh, yeah. of the draft room where literally he's like saying how they're not going to get Cooper DeGene mm-hmm. because like these teams in front of him are going to pick and he's kind of like, well, I guess not. And then one team passes on him and he goes, oh my god. And then he just tra- trades up for the pick. Yeah. He trades up. He calls up. I think it's uh, Sean McVay. He's like, this pick, this this pick, this. Give pick, me your pick now. now. And then like, yeah. okay, sure. And he's like slapping the table because he's so excited um, to get this yeah. pick. Yep. We got a uh, Jeremiah Trotter, senior son, Jeremiah Trotter, Jr. Yep. Welcome back. Uh, uh, th- uh, honestly, for those that don't know, former linebacker for the Eagles. Yes. His son now is playing linebacker for the Eagles. Yep. And Justin, I don't know if you saw it or if you saw the clip, Peter, but of uh, uh, Jeffrey Lurie calling him. That was yep. it was like because he's Jeffrey saw him grow up, basically. Yep. And he, like he was very really close to the family, so I'm like, okay, that's like we got that's the hometown awesome. kid coming back. That was like, yeah. this is great. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, and then let's awesome. see. Uh, Will Shipley is a running back yeah. for us now. We I got a white that. running back. Let's go. We got a white corner, and a white running back. Philadelphia's bringing back racism, baby. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, and speaking of that, uh, we got a tough pick of Cooper DeJean and Reed Blankenship flexing oh, yeah. up in front of the Eagles logo in the oh, tunnel. God. Uh, uh, our social media team definitely knew no, what they, they were they doing with what that picture. Doing. They know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, trying to think. Justin, any other offseason acquisitions I'm missing? No, not not that I can think of. Um, we, we got the center, a late center from Wisconsin. Very like Jason mm-hmm. Kelsey-esque with the small size. So oh, probably, God. Here we he go. He probably won't play much this year. Um, but he, but he's an exciting guy to have back there, and maybe you know develops into a. Oh wait, you guys got rid of the uh, the domestic terrorist on offense. Oh, uh, Brian Johnson. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, yeah well, we, we all knew that was that happening. Was happening. Uh, oh, a... I forgot. We got um, we got our boy Matt Hennessy. Oh yeah. Oh, our oh, line. <laughs> Dude, Hennessy jerseys are gonna go crazy I, at yeah. the link this uh, year. All I know is the social they media team, the marketing team. They knew what they were doing. Um. Just, I mean, I'm just a big fan of what the six, uh, the Eagles did this offseason. Just, I think they got every position of need. The only thing I would say that they probably missed out on the opportunity to do was to get veteran experience in their cornerback room. 
to help supplement a bad mm-hmm. secondary. But the way they did that was just draft two really highly graded rookies. So mm-hmm. it might not be the smoothest first year in that specific position group, but I still think. But you guys still have Darius Slay and James Bradbury yeah. on the team, so yeah. it won't be that bad. Yeah. Um, and. Oh, oh, um, Justin, we got. Who's that linebacker from the Bucks Devin we White. took? Devin that's White. Devin, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's we, stuff I'm talking about with this team. Like, it was like, oh, wow, the linebacking core is terrible. Okay, go out and get Devin White. Obviously, linebacking is still not a strength for the Eagles. But if Devin White can be good, he was not great last year. If he can be great two years ago, Devin White, then that's a huge pickup yeah. for the team that is going to solve mm-hmm. a big position of need. Um, if Absolutely. Slay can stay healthy this year, people forget about last year. He hurt himself in the, like, close to the end of the season. That's when they started to skid. They weren't able to get back that skid by the end of the season when he had come back. Um, if you can have Slay be good, Brad Berry to be serviceable, um, Sidney Gardner-Johnson's good at his job, and then you can figure out the rest of the cornerback position with Kenyon with Cooper Jejean safeties do work yep. there. Suddenly you start talking about, Hey, 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 you forgot Reed. Okay. Um, <laughs> but say but, his and name. Also, read, read Blankenship. Um, <laughs> thank you. But I think the big thing with the Eagles that people aren't talking about is they got a lot better at those at the secondary position. Also, a lot of these young guys got to play last year, Keely Ringo, Eli Rick, Signe Brown for a little bit before he got injured. Um, all got to play. So now they're going to come in with a little bit more confidence, a little bit more experience. Now they're getting second team reps. Um, if somebody goes down, they'll be good and ready to go. So um, I'm, I'm pretty high on the Eagles. I, I think a lot of people, I think the national media has overvalued how much I love Jason Kelsey, but I think they've valued overvalued how much losing JC Kelsey will hurt. It's not, it's not going to be, it's not going to yeah. be like a crystal clear uh, transition. Obviously Jason Kelsey Mm-hmm. Cam Jurgens is not going to be as good as K- Jason Kelsey was, but I think people are like, "Oh, what are the Eagles going to do now? They don't have Jason Kelsey." And it's like, "I don't know. They still have a top ten <laughs> offensive line in the league. They still have a top three wide receiver room in the league, um, especially at the one-two position. Yeah. Um, they still have a quarterback who nearly won the MVP two years ago and the best running back in football." So. Um, with honestly a deep with Kenneth Gainwell backing them up and then a rookie and Will Shipley, like they've got a great running back room. I think they have a solid QB room. I don't love, I'm a notorious Kenny Pickett hater, but as a backup QB, he's fine. Um, there is no shot you are complimenting Kenny Pickett right now. I never thought I'd see the day. I, this dude is huffing his own farts right now. You are so high on copium. You but yeah. want the you, you think the Eagles are going seventeen and zero? Like you you are complimenting Kenny Pickett. I never thought I'd see the day. I said no he's way. I said he's a good backup quarterback. I wouldn't call it much of a compliment. Um, <laughs> I don't care. That's still a compliment. <laughs> And then just like the offensive line, like the weakest position on the offensive line is going to be a right guard. We'll see how Tyler Steen does, but I think he'll be fine. Um, and otherwise, I'm just I'm just very high. On, I'm just high on the Eagles. I think they address positions of need. Um, they mm-hmm. transit. Well, again, the big thing will be there is how is their coaching, right? Like they get Kellen Moore in the offseason. They get Vic Fangio. They have Sirianni still there. If Sirianni is the guy, mm-hmm. if Kellen Moore is the guy, and Vic Fangio is the guy, I think the Eagles really have a good shot to win the Super Bowl this year. It's not. Yeah. It's not for lack of talent. Like the only no. question mark we have is the youth in the back of the secondary. Other than that, mm-hmm. I think it's like, how are these guys coached? What's the scheme? Can they go out and execute? And can Jalen Hurts be a good quarterback? Um, there, I thought I really think there were some weaknesses in his game last year. Call it injury, call it play calling, call it maybe some of his own problems. But this is your year to prove it. I don't think there's many rosters in the NFL that are better than the Eagles this year.